in seeking providence. Start. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. I like the little taped on super. <laughs> He's so sad. Enter! What's good? Sorry, members only. Sounds like someone is crying! I better go check to make sure they're okay! Hello, miss! Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I did not mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That is for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind. Lady such as yourself, so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm fairly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You should not have come along at better time. You must be an angel. I am just a humble farmer that is <laughs> nice to have glad and helpful like folk you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, that's it? Thank you. I'm gonna play around with the game of boy. Alright, go into the bathroom. Alright, we're no longer we're no longer spooky. Yep. Oh! What? Excuse me? What did I just do? Am I in the hell dimension? Alright. Uh, let's go talk to Mrs. Sanderson. I bet you Mrs. Sanderson is super dead. Mrs. Sanderson, where are you at? You gotta tell me where you're going sometimes. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. They don't want to live. I don't blame them. Alright, is my cat haunted? My cat's not haunted. My bathroom haunted. My bathroom's not haunted. Is my over here haunted? My over here isn't haunted. Is my dad haunted? He is not haunted. Well, I know where I'm gonna find some more spookies. If I was to gonna go find the spooky people, I would go on floor five. Where the spooky people would be probably in here right next to you know what i'm gonna make a prediction and i'm just gonna stand right here yep sure did know that birdo what that's probably fine that's probably a good idea i sure definitely should be uh releasing these seals that's probably a wise idea megan Megan. Megan. Nope, no Megan's here. I'm surprised I can't, uh, I'm surprised I can't bother Miss Anderson. You'd think. You would think. You would think. Sup, David? Sup, brother? Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night. Lots of time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about, like, a spirit? Someone that used to live here? Sally, you just gotta blaze off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Bye. Okay, I guess let's check... Mrs. Rosenberg. Oh, Mrs. Rosenberg is haunted. Oh! Is that right? Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you shouldn't understand. Uh, are you okay? Is everything okay? I haven't been in a long time. I meant, 
Yeah, I know, Sally. I'm not gonna drop dead on you. Not today, at least. How long have you lived here? Long indeed. It's hard to say. My old mind can barely hold on to the yeah, the love of that. That sure was cool. Don't do that again, Mrs. Sanderson. Please don't, please don't do that again. Uh, thank, 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 thank you, Mrs. Rosenberg. Please don't ever do that again. That was. <laughs> that was wild. Oh, look at that shuffle! Look at that shuffle! Look at that shuffle! Scootin'! Scootin'! That's the Sanity's Fall shuffle right there. Any spooky lost and founds? Nope, just more bug stuff. Uh, yep, there he is. Yep, talk to me. Yep, yep, that's... <sighs> oh, I got more chapters. Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place amongst the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to receive the Book of Forgotten Truths. Ah, that kills me immediately. Oh, is this Greg but a girl? Is this girl Greg? There we go. There's the book. Take the book. I have retrieved the Book of the Forgotten Truths. Will you not now not see my worth? The council recognizes the great resolve you have shown us today. Let this book stand as testament to the place among your ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the powers of God. A young cultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle. Searching for the final components the council required. Oh! I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this time. Yoink. I'm just gonna give a little bit less of a shit this time. Nope! I need to give a little bit more of a shit. Whoa! What's the hit? What is the hitbox? Another bones. I'm just gonna... Speed run, speed run, speed run. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. Also, I don't know if I actually need to censor anything. For Fuck! Also, I don't know if I actually need to censor anything for this game, considering that, uh... It has cusses in it. It has had every single cuss word I have ever used on this channel. Fuck! Stop. Don't, don't, don't lurch. Don't lurch. Don't lurch. Don't, don't lurch like that. Lady! Just call, don't, 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 just, just don't, just don't, don't. Motherfucker, I'm going around it. Never mind, I'm not going around it. Uh, yep. You fucker. I wasn't. Okay. Okay. All right, I know your game, boy. I can play. I can play your little game, boy. I know. I know how this works. I can make this so boring. I can make this so boring. Don't fuck with this, Senator! I WASN'T TOUCHING ANYTHING! Oh my god... Oh my god... You know what this is? It's padding! It's fucking padding! I love that the sprite decides how much it goes. Like, I have no say in the matter. I genuinely have no say. Like... Oh, there's- yeah, that's just a dead end. Okay, cool. I'm glad I wasted my time with that. Like, the sprite decides. I have- I have no control on this situation. I have no control on where the sprite goes. I- a, a single tap can be anywhere from like a little bitty inch forward. Thank you. I have retrieved the remaining assets! Very good! The preparations are now complete! 
Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Okay, cool. Very cool. That didn't take several dozen tries. Larry! Larry! Nice hat. Oh! Bu 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 way! It's that also that scene from Sal's dream. Yeah! This fucker murdered everyone. Check out my super gear boy. Todd made that. That's pretty awesome. Wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed parts for the upgrade. I, I hope you don't mind, but I can get just new ones. Damn. All right, well, that's okay. Hopefully, we'll it'll help find out more about these ghosts, these ghosts and my coasts. Agreed. Ghost. Ghost. Coast. All right, let's see if we can find some more ghost coasts. All right, I remember there being some spooky stuff here. Is this just gonna be another sigil? Oh. Well, hello. Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? N no. N -n 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 Sal. It's, it's every... And... You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I really... I... I remember... And all... Yet... To remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you... Nit it to go nit ridge is rising. Don't forget the red ball. Blah blah it to die. Blah blah. So when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. I should probably go ask check in with Todd again, see if he's found anything. I should play my Game Boy. Oh, I got chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you think that if you find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. All right, Jimmy. Bink. All right, Jimmy. This is some floaty controls. Enter. Whoa, whoa, yep, that hurts. I don't like these floaty controls. I don't like them. I don't like them. Not a big fan of these floaty controls. They keep on moving when I don't want to be moving. They slipping and they are sliding. They're going wherever they want. They go wherever they want. It's like I'm walking on ice. They really polish these floors. They did not fuck around with the polishing on these floors. All right, now I'm gonna speed run this. Boom, speed run strat. And then we go up here. Then we stop. There we go. Then we stop. Ooh. All right, to give you an idea, to give you an idea of how bad this is. All right, pressing. All right, I stopped pressing. This is ridiculous. All right. Use the key. All right, that sure did it. Hey, editing clerical, are you gonna put these in order? I didn't think so. All right, let's see if Todd has found anything. Hey, yo, Todd! Hey! And it's strange, I can't find any reports of class murders. About the only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at the photo of him on the public record. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day that Miss Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in the Addison Apartments with her parents Luke and Stacy. Looks like they may be your little friend from upstairs, but she must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling about. I've heard the stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. Uh, there's an update on the report, one day after the original one was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in, in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. 
uh, says that they had been fishing and she fell down into the river. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's de that's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've, I've seen it somewhere. You still haven't been able to summon her, even with a superhero boy. Perhaps the necklace will help somehow. Uh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Maybe she's had some kind of connection with it when she was alive. Now I just need to the, remember where the hell I saw that thing. Uh-oh, is it gonna actually make me have to remember? Uh-oh. Lost and found, maybe. Then check the lost and found first. Whenever you're missing something, you should always check the lost and found first. Yeah! Ha! Cool. Now, Larry, you'll see Megan for sure. All right, work your magic whenever you're ready. <laughs> Megan, are you with us? This is my friend, Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. That's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. And it's just this side, but different. Uh, do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. Yeah, I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Uh, it just, he was really nice and he brought me candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him and I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad and then his sad turned into angry. Uh, do you remember your last days? I don't know, it's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went there sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how'd you know? That's my dad! Oh, I guess our daddies were friends, ha <laughs> ha Uh, can you tell me where he is? Like, do, do you know anything about him? Please, I, I gotta know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I, I don't know where he is, I just... I know that Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Hmm. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Yes! Where'd you find that? It was downstairs in the in the bathroom. Or it was downstairs in the bottom of the Lost and Found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people, so I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... <sighs> Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Uh, actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse, so maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Chapter 5 Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. <clears throat> Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick! I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost, and it was so dark and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace. It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Cool. Okay. David's place. Sup, brother? Hey, can I have your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door? They're in 301. They're nice kids. But all this really loud parties, it shakes my walls, and if shelf falls down. If you could talk to them for me and get them a little quieter, I could borrow, let you borrow the crowbar. 
Alright, I can talk to him. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't got a lot of clean clothes. And I just hate to be a party pooper, you know. It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See ya. Iggy. What's up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. How about this? Love it! Good choice, little man! It's unexpected. Classic. Could work. Hey, Sierra. What you up to? Oh, hey, Sal. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Hey, can I look at your list? Sure. Uh, how about a chess tournament? Cool. What's well, good? Hey, Sally, I'm trying to choose a game for party tonight. Got this little book of games, and I don't know. Be my guest. Telephone. Yeah, I think that's it. Did I success? Should be quieter now. All right, good job. By the way, D&D is not the right option. D&D is probably the loudest out of all of those <laughs> options for things to do. Hey, David! What's up, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? Yeah, I worked it out with the college students. They're going to have a quieter party today. Oh, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be so happy, too. Last time, our wedding picture almost blew up into pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. One second. There you go, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Time to go. Look at some smellies. Ooh, hey, I've got a crowbar. Fuck everything else. I've got a crowbar. Yes. Let's commit crime. Let me in. Yep. Mrs. Sanderson? Who are you? Oh, she's talking through her mat, her throat. My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces, like waking from a dream. You know what happened to my Herman? Uh, he couldn't come back to the room, so the movers came and took everything out for him. He looked defeated. You must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This isolation is torturous. I wish we never moved into this place. I wish we never met them and Charlie and never... Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Miss Sanderson. Go hide. Goodbye, Sal. I gotta wonder if all this that I'm doing is actually important. I'm just kind of assuming. After learning what Herman was involved with, Miss Sanderson reached out to a friend for help. They would meet up later that night. Have a nice day at work. Promise me you'll stay out of trouble, honey. Of course. I love you, babe. I love you too. I have to gather evidence first. If anyone is going to believe this. Haha, I did it. Hey, this isn't a good time to talk. Can you come back later? Charlie, what the hell has gotten into you? Ooga booga! Here's the crowbar. Let's go into the bedroom. I bet you it smells horrible in here. Oh! There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's another room on the other side. Alright, that's the point of no return, which means I need to go finish looking for some bullshit. Oh! Oh, it's right here. I'm actually just stupid. Okay. Woo! You are fucked up looking. Stacy? Are you okay? Okay! 
Chapter 4 When her husband learned of her indiscretions, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Ah. Oh, and then I have to start all the way from the beginning. Okay, indi beningi. So don't fuck it up. All right, that's it then, yeah? Wait, there's a second door. Okay, Rosenberg! I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good, now I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? I've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get involved, get your family involved in all of this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it in a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Alright, but they succeeded. Uh, what's the last one? I feel like I should go exploring. Fuck it, I've looked everywhere. I've literally looked everywhere. There's a huge hole in the wall. Yeah, let's go. Hello, ghostman? Spooky ghostman? Hello? H Hello? Oh. I saw a noose. Oh, so it's just gonna make me play... Ooh. In the moment, he found himself everywhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Ah. It's, oh, it's... Enter. The child will only slow us down. She will over follow us with blah blah blah. Kill the child next. Fuck. Walk with me unto the undying flame and our power will be endless. Cock. 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 Hey guys, it's so floaty. Ah! Moose Knuckle! Portable Moose! Your game is so flighty! It's so slidey! Ah! There we go! There we go! There we go, that's all of it! Luke, can you hear me? Wow! That- he dead. That's actually just a- an actual corpse. What the hell just happened? Uh, Todd gave me one of his inventions and said that theoretically it can overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. That's a good thing you did. So that red-eye creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess I'm not cursed after all. Y yeah, I knew that the Addison Apartments had a dark past. Or, I never knew the Addison Apartments had such a dark past. Living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn. I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit's nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demons showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to have taken care of it. Oh. What is it? Nah, that's great and all. I was just thinking, since there's no curse, that means my dad, he, he, he just... Larry? Yeah, Sal, you hug him. You hug your buddy. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for the day. The guard's giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I hope to get some honest insight from you today. Uh, especially with this being our last session and our tr and your trial being in a few days. I, I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. 
government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about, think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it's profound. I know how it sounds, but uh, what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, eh? Okay, uh, I genuinely thought that was going to be the end. Are we getting close to the end, or is that the end of the episode? Is this the end of the episode coming up? I'm getting a little antsy. Books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Rusty tools and junk. Amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Picture. It's a photograph of Larry's painting. Uh, parents, nothing strange about it. Hmm. There's nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole thing just seemed off. Oh! Dr. Enan? Oh, ah, ah! Don't freak out, man. I, we need your help. We're gonna get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. We have to get Sal here. This- You- You can't! Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here, then- Shit. <laughs> Oops.